Hello Libra, it's Jennifer Pearson here at Thistle Gypsy. This is your October reading for singles, and I'm doing it a little bit different because it is October, month of Halloween. So um, I'm going to read uh, this spread first, the cards we have here first, and then I'm going to switch over to this set of cards here. Uh, that are from um, kind of a Halloween themed decks. And uh, we'll see what messages they have. I have a different set of questions for them this time around. Alrighty, you just have a beautiful, beautiful set of cards here, as if you can't tell just by looking for the most part. Um, and happy birthday, Libras. It's looking like your birthday. It is looking like your birthday. Happy, happy. Um, so yeah, this is you basking. Basking in whatever comes your way in terms of positive energy. The spotlight is on you. You're dancing in the sun. Um, good vibes all around. Um, a sense of protected happiness. It's just beautiful. Um, and I just feel like this, especially with the sun and heading into the sun, it's like, it's almost like magical energy is just surging towards you. Um, the Eight of Fire, which would be the Eight of Wands, is traditionally a card of messages. So you might just be getting all kinds of positive, happy birthdays, just general happy news. Um, I could see maybe somebody even getting news of a job or, um, you know, just like something you've wished for or something that helps you feel relief um, is coming your way. And I don't feel it's, it has directly to do with love, except like comments, you know, if you think of them as love from the universe, you're being showered with love from the universe. And you glow as a result. So, yeah. But, and I think this is someone else, either you're hiding kind of some sadness, or there's somebody... And I do feel like this is sadness. It isn't typically, that isn't how the Seven of Cups is understood. But that's the feeling here to me. And it's like he's, uh, with all those herons in the background, it's like he's searching for some secret elixir. So either, either you're hiding a sense, despite all of this incredible positive energy, either you're feeling a sense of hollowness and are trying to figure out what will fill it, uh, or there is somebody around you that's feeling that way. This could be someone from the past, you know, because you just have beautiful cards as you move forward, just tremendous cards, beautiful. So this could be somebody who sees your success. And if you've got a new relationship and they are drowning themselves and and that's kind of maybe you maybe you know that it's in the back of your mind. I'm just trying to figure out whether this is a person that's is truly an influence or if it's somebody that you feel responsible for. It's like you can't fully enjoy your happiness if this person isn't also happy. Not because you're in a relationship with them right now, but because you were or you somehow still feel responsible for them. And so you feel like you shouldn't be so happy. And you know, some of you might have just broken up with somebody you know, and, you know, you're moving on, and it's great, and it's your birthday month, and you're getting all this positive energy, and you're feeling guilty about having left this person. And you might even be imagining that, that this is how they're currently behaving. 
um, or feeling, and it might it might be a product of your mind. Because the Seven of Cups does have that uh, illusionary aspect to it. But moving forwards, wow, positive energy. Um, so I'm not sure if this is going to be somebody, this would be like the Page of Swords, if this is somebody... Um, Younger than you, a partner younger than you, um, but it's all headed. It's all headed toward the the lovers. So it's just headed toward beautiful things, and that's what I'm saying. I don't know if you know if it's a partner who's younger than you. Um, I feel like you're mutually dazzling each other. Whoever you run into, and with these, with this communication card here, it could be that somebody communicates with you and says, "Hey, let's get together," kind of out of the blue. You know, it's a blue card out of the blue. Let's get together, and again, you just mutually dazzle each other. It's like this person is just so cool and attracts so much great attention. And this person may be going through some changes with all these butterflies, and you're digging it, and it just brings out your spicy Venus Libra nature. Um, I mean, you could literally go dancing. Uh, but yeah, what great cards. Um, and yeah, look, it's the lovers. It just doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just beautiful. Um, and again, this this person is uh, feels out of the. You know this. I don't see this person becoming this person. I feel like this is you and a new person. And beautiful things happening. Uh, so yeah, be open to the idea that this is something that you're imagining and is not, and is not the case. All right, so I'm going to leave those there, but we're going to move on now to um, our our spooky cards with skeletons and let's see, you don't have any gargoyles, um, but anyway, and I I'm warning because. Some people might not like that, so feel free to depart now if you don't if you don't dig that sort of thing. So the first card is Lara Macab, and I am probably completely mispronouncing that, but uh, it's this card. And it looks like it's actually a star card with that 17. And so I'm going to read you the messages that I got from that card. And it says, appropriately for, uh, for you, Libras, that the statement that goes with that card is that death is the great equalizer. Um, and that sentiment refers to the fact that death comes to everybody. And that may be a message to help you deal with the fact that something has ended and you know, you're not necessarily responsible for that other person's pain. Um, so, because you understand that we're all equal, made from dust or star stuff, since this is the star card, and to dust returning, you may be too willing to forgive people you should be letting go of. So you may be haunted... I think that's this person. So you are haunted by a principle or a philosophy that interferes with your ability to find a nurturing relationship in the material world. So um, so yeah, you're too willing to forgive people and keep them around when you should be letting them go because of this kind of innate, inherent uh, sympathy. 
So just be aware of that because this card is supposed to represent what is haunting your love life. But it doesn't look like it's going to stop you this month. Um, okay, next card is in fact the Seven of Cups again. So this is what is an illusion. Oh, well, and I just said it, right? <laughs> right. I don't think I need to explain this too much. It's just reiterating what I said earlier about this perception that somebody is... Um, you know, drinking themselves under the table because of an ending, uh, the end of a relationship. So just keep that in mind. That was what is an illusion. Is the Seven of Cups is an illusion. It can also be the Seven of Cups can also be possibilities, but I see that you at least have one person that you're, you've got a really strong attraction to, a really strong potential bond with. So it could be that you have a little bit of difficulty figuring out what is an illusion. You might be wondering if this person's misery is an illusion. You might be wondering if this person's attraction is an illusion. But I think you won't wait. You know, I don't think this will be in question for very long. <laughs> um, you know, considering that this is the, the ending card, where you're headed this month. Um, who or what you need to stop chasing? This character right here, the Knight of Pentacles. So if you have somebody who kind of collects, not necessarily skulls, but things that are done. So if you have somebody that keeps bringing up to you what you did to them or their past, um, and the Knight of Pentacles is notorious for not moving, not moving on, not moving forward. So that is what you um, you need to stop chasing. Also, I think in, because of the way it's phrased, that question is phrased, if there's somebody who's being really stubborn, time to let them go. Move on to move on to the butterfly child. Again, the butterflies are about change and transformation. And this fiery energy definitely has that feel too. So don't be chasing that person who just is wallowing or doesn't want to come out and do things. That's just going to slow you down this month. What is hanging on from the past? And here you have the Five of Cups. And again, you know, I feel like it could very well be related to this. But this is, this is so positive that I don't think it's you. I mean, you can say if it's you, you know, this is very general reading. So, I mean, you know, and this shows that the water level is about halfway, about up to the sternum. So, um, you know, maybe you're not completely over something. Maybe that's why you feel this is guilty about this. You're not completely over it. You're still subsert, uh, uh, you know, submerged. You still have maze mind. You're still maybe second guessing or reanalyzing everything that happened, uh, for, you know, possibly in a past relationship. Uh, perhaps even, you know, looking back over multiple relationships and trying to figure them out. The maze of your mind. And I think that's a danger for all air signs that mind maze stuff. Um, so this is hanging on from the past. So it's something that, that it would be best to let go of. What would be good to release? And it's like, you know, he's putting nails in the coffin. So it's like, are you still trying to put nails in the coffin? You know, when do you stop and just walk away and let it be finished? What blocks progress? The Ace of Cups. 
But look what's coming out of the Ace of Cups. It's kind of a dark cloud. Oh, can we look at what's on it? No, well, it's not real clear what's on it. It kind of feels um, like a poison cup. Ace of Cups is usually a very positive card, but this one kind of doesn't have that vibe. What blocks progress? What's coming across to me is, are you trying to apologize to somebody? Do you need to feel like you need to apologize to someone? And I'm feeling like the answer to that is you don't need to apologize to anybody. Um, it could be that then there is new love coming in that blocks progress with, with Mr. Knight of Pentacles, who you should be leaving behind anyway. Um, but this is so, this here is so powerful that I'm, I don't think that that this can block the energy going on here. Um, I, I kind of am wondering too if this person is. I'm going to say whining about wanting you back and that the whole stuff going on here with delusions and letting people go is that that person is doing that not necessarily because they are in so much pain so much as that they don't want to see you move on. So it's manipulative. Um, what do you need to stop doing? Queen of Wands. Oh, this is a little perplexing to me. What do you need to stop doing? Because you are... And this feels very positive. But boy, you are very Queen of Wands right here. I mean, you've got the Sun card. You've got um, the Three of Fire here. Very spicy. This Child of Air, which could be you, but could also be um, the other person involved. Okay, it's coming through now. You need to stop feeling responsible. Because it's a queen, you need to stop feeling responsible for for providing energy to other people. So again, it has a lot to do with this figure right here. And it's like you feel like you need to help dry this person out. And you need to be the strong one. You need to provide that fire that will dry him out. <laughs> and then he gets saying, no, you're, you're actually not responsible. You're not responsible for providing all of that heat and energy. You know? Find somebody who's an equal. And then the energy pretty much creates itself. You don't have to provide it. And you don't have to always be the initiator. You know, in, in a good relationship, there's mutual. You know, you're not fighting with somebody who's doing this stuff and somebody who's doing this stuff. You know, you're freer. So yeah, stop feeling responsible. There you go, Libras. Um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful energy and, and <laughs> like a thousand and one warnings about um, not worrying about uh, other people you have been in relationships with. 
um, to let them sort them things uh, themselves out. So I hope this helps, uh, helps you take advantage of any opportunities that come your way during October. Um, and I will see you again in November. Happy birthday again. See you then. Bye-bye.